After spending many months sharing her bed with her dog. A woman saw nothing wrong with this entirely innocent and adorable routine. However, her world was suddenly rattled when she made a chilling discovery that shook her to the core. From her early years, Julia had always harbored a deep love for dogs. So, when she encountered a sweet German shepherd named Bronx at a local shelter, she decided to adopt him and make him a part of her newly acquired apartment, upon bringing Bronx home and introducing him to his new environment. Julia was thrilled to witness how swiftly the dog adapted to his new life. Initially timid and cautious, Bronx soon transformed into a playful presence. Joyfully exploring the apartment and reveling in his newfound forever home, Julia found immense delight in this. Reminiscing about the aspects of dog ownership that she had missed. However, her joy took an unexpected turn the following morning when she woke up to a surprising sight, Bronx peacefully asleep by her side in bed. Initially dismissing it as a one-time incident. Julia gently guided Bronx back to his designated sleeping spot near the bedroom door. To her astonishment, this scenario repeated itself over the next few days. As Bronx consistently found his way back onto the bed. Regardless of Julia's attempts to redirect him to his designated area on the fluffy rug, despite her initial attempts to establish boundaries. Julia couldn't bring herself to scold or punish Bronx for his seemingly innocent habit. Instead, she gradually embraced it as a charming quirk of her beloved pet. In fact, she found solace in the comfort and companionship they shared. Over the next few weeks, life continued to unfold smoothly for Julia and her furry companion without any hiccups. Life remained happy and enjoyable as caring for Bronx became a source of joy and fulfillment for Julia. However, an unusual development took place. Julia started experiencing extreme exhaustion and lethargy in a way that was entirely foreign to her active and healthy nature. Even the simple task of getting out of bed became strenuous. A far cry from her usual routine as a morning person who effortlessly rose without an alarm clock, initially. Julia dismissed it. Attributing the change in mood to the monotony of her work routine. However, as her well-being continued to decline, and her strength waned, she recognized the need to consult a doctor. Through a series of tests and procedures, the doctor found nothing unusual. Frustrated, Julia mentioned her sleeping arrangement with Bronx, hoping it might offer a clue, even though she wasn't sure what insight it could provide, without hesitation. The doctor suggested that Julia might be allergic to dog hair, prescribing several medications to suppress her allergic reactions. He advised her to minimize contact with Bronx until her symptoms improved. Julia found this revelation perplexing, as she had been perfectly fine around dogs for the longest time and couldn't comprehend how she had developed an allergy to dog hair, the doctor patiently explained that allergies could develop at any stage in life. So it wasn't entirely surprising for someone who had been close to and fond of dogs to now develop an unfortunate and untimely allergic reaction to them. Recognizing the doctor's expertise, Julia returned home and diligently adhered to her prescribed medication courses. She attempted to persuade Bronx to refrain from sleeping in her bed. Though enforcing this was easier said than done. Despite his initial reluctance, Bronx eventually complied and obediently slept in the corridor outside the bedroom door. Bringing Julia some relief, admitting that the doctor might be correct about her allergy to dog hair. Julia completed the medication course in hopes of restoring her once energetic self. Unfortunately, the respite was short-lived. Bronx, being the cheeky dog he was, would sneak back onto the bed occasionally at night causing Julia's symptoms to return with a vengeance. Her weakness, lethargy, and apathy intensified, transforming her previously pleasant life into a living nightmare. Struggling to maintain her job due to her constant fatigue, 
Julia felt perplexed and desperate. Unsure of where to turn for help. To make matters worse. Even Bronx began exhibiting signs of discomfort. His gait became peculiar. And he consistently curled up with his hind legs close to his body when lying down next to Julia. Sensing that something was amiss. She found herself compelled to uncover the root of their shared distress, however. Julia found herself too lethargic to even take Bronx to the vet. Forcing her to take an entire week off work. Believing that a period of rest would help her recover. She was unaware that she was seriously risking her life. Fortunately. Hope arrived in the form of a veterinarian friend who paid her a visit. Deeply concerned by Julia's deteriorating state and learning that it all began after she adopted Bronx. The veterinarian requested Julia to bring the dog to his clinic to confirm or dispel his suspicions, with no other viable options. Julia reluctantly agreed. Hoping for a breakthrough. The veterinarian conducted a thorough battery of tests and checks on Bronx. Leaving no stone unturned in his search for answers. Several days later. When he finally called with the test results. He revealed a shocking truth. Yulia had contracted a dangerous disease from Bronx called brucellosis. This disease would have been impossible to detect without specific research and had likely been contracted at the shelter. The close contact Julia had with her beloved pet. Particularly during the nighttime when they shared a bed. Unknowingly exposed her to this insidious condition, the veterinarian urgently prescribed a robust course of antibiotics for both Julia and Bronx. Emphasizing that waiting any longer would have had dire consequences. Terrified by the revelation. Julia was also grateful that they had identified the root cause of her mysterious illness. In dogs. Brucellosis can lead to various reproductive issues. Bronx. In particular. Was having difficulty walking due to swelling around his privates. Thankfully. The disease was still in its early stages and he would heal completely with no consequences. Provided he took the antibiotics. However. In people. Brucellosis can transform into meningitis. Endocarditis. And osteomyelitis, inflammations of the meninges, brain. Heart. And bones. Respectively. The same disease can also induce severe depression. Of which Julia's lethargic state was just the initial manifestation. She had genuinely jeopardized her life following the veterinarian's instructions to the letter. Julia promptly started taking the prescribed medication. She also ensured that Bronx took his medicine. Over time. The potent antibiotics brought her significant relief. Alleviating her fatigue. Subsequent tests several weeks later confirmed that the disease had completely left her system. On the day she received this news, Julia heaved a sigh of relief and tightly embraced Bronx, who inadvertently had almost cost her life. Despite the unforeseen consequences, she harbored no anger, only gratitude. From that day forward, she allowed her beloved dog to resume his place by her side on the big, soft bed, appreciative of his unconditional love, through this experience. Julia learned the importance of taking necessary precautions when owning a pet. Even if it meant confronting unforeseen challenges and unexpected changes. As she regained her strength and recovered from the ordeal, her bond with Bronx only grew stronger. They became each other's pillars of support. Forever cherishing the invaluable lessons learned throughout their terrifying and mind-boggling journey together, now. Over to you, what are your thoughts on this incredible story? Have you ever heard of such a rare and unusual condition as the one Julia contracted? Would you have considered parting ways with your dog if you suspected they were the cause of your suffering? As always, we love to hear from you. So please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Let's continue. A dog travels alone on the subway every day. On the way, he sleeps in his seat and gets off when he arrives at his destination. 
Dogs wait at the subway entrance on time in the morning and return to the starting point at night. Becoming the most magical existence on the subway. Where did this dog come from? Where does it go by subway every day, many people will choose to take public transportation to and from work. Such as subway. Which is not only very convenient. But also beneficial to environmental protection. So it has become the only choice for office workers. But have you ever heard of dogs taking the subway? This may seem incredible. But there is such a dog that becomes one of all commuters. Let's take a look at this amazing dog, Amir usually drives his private car to work. But recently there were some problems with the car. So Amir had to send it to be repaired. So he had to take the subway to work for some time. When Amir took the subway on his first day, he was surprised to see a dog in the subway station. The dog waited patiently with the people in the subway station and jumped into the carriage as soon as the car stopped. Except Amir, who didn't pay much attention to the dog, began to look for where the dog went after getting on the subway. But soon the subway arrived at the station. And Amir had to give up looking and get off the bus, Amir thought that the dog was just an aimless stray dog. And it was only an accident when it entered the subway. Maybe he was just looking for something to eat. So Amir quickly put it behind him. However, this story is far from over, Amir thought he would never see the dog again. But he was pleasantly surprised to meet the dog again the next day. It seemed that he came to the subway station early and waited. For the next few days, Amir could see dogs on the subway every day. He began to wonder where the dogs went by subway every day. And he was worried about their safety. Although sometimes dogs can be fed by good people. They are not so lucky every day. Amir saw with his own eyes that someone drove the dog out of the carriage in disgust. He wanted to stop this behavior. But it was too late. The dog had been left at the station. And he had to wander in place. People pass by it. But no one pays attention to it, Amir decided to find a way to help the dog. But he didn't know anything about the dog. Or even where it came from. At this time. Amir received a phone call from the car repair shop informing him that the car had been repaired. But he decided to continue taking the subway to work until he had a chance to help the dog. So, every morning, Amir waited for the dog at the station with delicious food. And the dog happily accepted the food brought by Amir. And they gradually became familiar with IT that I in order to ensure the safety of the dog. Amir called the local animal center. And the animal center passed on the situation to a dog shelter. When Amir told the shelter the story of the dog taking the subway. The staff were also very confused. In order to know where the dog went every day. The staff decided to install a tracker on the dog. It was not easy to gain the trust of the dog. But with Amir's help. They successfully installed a small tracker on the dog. And the rest was to wait. Almost everyone was shocked by the dog's whereabouts. When the staff checked the dog's location, they found that the dog had to walk a long way every day, but always returned to the starting point at night. A staff member at the shelter decided to follow the dog personally, wondering what kind of people and things he met every day. And soon he found valuable information, first of all. The dog's name is Poggy because it was recognized by local residents who told the staff that Poggy used to be a pet dog. But after his owner died, Poggy became a stray dog. The staff found that Poggy was very clever. He understood and obeyed all the traffic rules and knew how to wait for the passengers to leave before getting on the bus. If there is a spare seat, Poggy will nap on the bench and wait for the arrival of the destination. If the passengers are full, he will lie prone and wait on the ground. After arriving at the station, he begins to wander around the town. According to the tracker, 
Hagi travels 27 to 30 kilometers every day, what is even more shocking is that the staff found that Poggy would take the ferry to the island. One afternoon. Poggy took an hour's ferry ride. When it got on the boat. It knew exactly where it was going. Which was the most impressive. No one knows how Poggy determines the end of these trips. But it can always disembark at the right port and start its own happy journey, after being fully familiar with Poggy. The veterinarian in the shelter examined him all over the body and found that he was a completely healthy dog and vaccinated. Which showed that he once had an owner who loved him very much. Unfortunately. He can only live as a stray dog now. But Poggy still showed enthusiasm for life. Which made everyone feel incredible, this cute dog is very human and never attacks people and passengers. So it has won the favor of many people. Many people even post Poggy's story on the internet. And people come here every day. Poggy is also very happy to take pictures with those who like it. Slowly. The whole town knew about Poggy's existence. And more and more people posted photos with Poggy on the internet. A photographer who loves animals set up a social account for Poggy. And he followed Poggy's side every day to shoot his adventures. At present, Poggy has thousands of fans. And all of them are attracted by Poggy's soul yearning for freedom, because Poggy knows all kinds of traffic rules very well. The local government has posted Poggy's leaflets in many places. Treating him as a traffic safety propagandist. Cute photos of Poggy can be seen in the streets and alleys. And it soon became a national dog. Residents living in other cities have also come here to travel. Hoping to meet Poggy. After Poggy became famous. Veterinarians regularly examined him to ensure his health. And installed chips on him. Since then. Poggy has become an identity dog. In addition. Professional dog trainers also conducted some behavioral research on Poggy. They observed Poggy's relationship with humans to determine whether he could perform well. Poggy passed all the tests perfectly. It likes to be close to human beings. These small tests are a piece of cake for it. Through the interaction between Poggy and human beings. Experts have a deeper understanding of its kindness and enthusiasm and fully recognized Poggy's identity as a national dog the government has placed a dog kennel for Poggy in the subway station. So that it doesn't have to worry about its place to live. Moreover. People find Poggy with food every day. It accepts people's kindness and brings joy to people. Now Poggy has more than 79.000 fans who love it. And it still shuttles through the crowd every day and enjoys its journey every day, dogs are very clever animals. Are everyone captured by this dog who knows how to enjoy freedom? In fact. There are many cute little animals around us. So let's find them with our heart and explore the wonderful world of animals. Okay. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like them. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. So I'll see you next time.